Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today is Tuesday, June 21st. Tony here, Road Area Productions. Uh, it's June 21st. We are getting barley straw probably later next week. We'll get wheat straw, maybe this week some, I'm not sure. Everybody's been saying about, uh, I was showing you the trucks, I was gonna talk about that yet, but uh, everybody was saying how maybe later the week they'll be cutting wheat. Uh, the straw maybe won't show up till next week, but the bank barn is full enough. Um, they're gonna be bringing, well, we would have enough to stuff it full, but we want, we need room for uh, when we make second cutting the hay. And plus we don't necessarily like having everything, all our skid litter attachments and everything sitting outside all the time. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm not sure if we showed this last year, but the implement shed, um, we built this shed back in 92. I believe it's 60 by 100. It was a big shed in 92. Um, the one over there's, 70 or 75 by 140 or something i forget but it's amazing how much bigger that is uh, this seemed big when we built it uh, with our equipment that we had back then it was plenty big um, but it's funny how you use up your space um, so anyhow we're gonna well and then we took another quarter of it and made it shop this wall here got moved over um, so really we only have half of it for equipment storage um, I keep the harvester in the shop side, so that sort of gets that gets stored there. But so anyhow, I'm rambling. The bank barn is full enough. I'll probably put a few more bales in there. Um, but when that gets full enough, we put some in the implement shed here. Typically, it's not until wheat, um, but we have some barley straw that we sort of kind of committed to, or you know interesting communication or whatever you want to call it but we're gonna i'm gonna accept that and uh, we're gonna uh put that in here and we got to put some in here anyhow so it's not a big deal i basically told the guys it's it, it might mean that you'll have to store some wheat in your barn because when we're full we're full so i'm gonna start these trucks up and get them out of here mike and mitch are on vacation so I'm, there's a little more for the rest of us to do uh, I was feeding the cows. Got to do that again this afternoon and tomorrow. So, got plenty to do. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the dairy today. We finished barley yesterday, but I'm gonna start off here. Well, I overslept this morning, and I milked and fed, so my day's a little off. You know, I overslept by like 45 minutes, but you know, it happens to the best of us. Uh, I'm gonna start off with pressure washing the skid loader. I did this uh, like a couple weeks ago, so it's not gonna be even that bad. I'm just gonna clean it off real quick. Um, don't have to worry about getting the inside, it's just the outside. We wanna be able to see out the skid loader. Straw should be also be coming today. So between me and my dad, we're gonna take care of that. And, is that all? Oh, I'm also pressure washing the mixing tractor because someone's gonna come look at that because while it's on the mixer and the PTO is running, it shakes, and that should not be happening. Okay, I got the trucks out of here. Just got to get the corn head out. There's some parlor spoils, leftovers, or whatever that are still here. I'm not sure what we're going to do there, but uh, got the concrete weight out with the 84. Um, now I'm gonna get the harvester out. Uh, got the grass pickup head here. Gonna move that. Uh, probably just put that at the back of the shop and then I'll hook up to the corn header and get that out of there. All done, all done. Kids these days get all hyped up on Diet Coke and Jolly Ranchers. As you can tell, we've been putting this skid loader to work. And then you got this one that's, you know, done its fair share of duties.
I got this out, I'm gonna take the air hose to it and dust it off a bit. I never did do that. Typically I hit it with a high pressure as well, but that didn't happen yet. It's not, not horribly dirty because we had a dry harvest. We weren't playing in the mud. So, uh, got the corn header out. That thing is heavy. I don't know if you can tell. Tires are squatted out pretty good. I think they said it weighs around 9,000 pounds. Uh, I know the day it was delivered, when, they, when I pulled it off the truck, I, if I would've knew, knew better, I would've had air in the tires. I believe I adjusted tire pressure I think I put about 10 more PSI in for the corn head. I usually have it set where they say to run it in the field. Um, we're not going up and down the road like some guys do uh, a lot. Like some people really travel far on the road. So I don't run it quite that tight. Some people in their harvesters, they have it's, uh, a system on it that can dump the air pressure in their front tires for when they're in the field. And then I guess when they go in road mode, it adds to it. Uh, we do not have that. Uh, like I said, it'd be something that would be a little more critical if you were running. I mean, there's guys run 10, 20 or more miles down a road. So uh, that would mean something for sure. So I'm going to clean up a little mess here that I'd made. I had dug some of this out a while back. Uh, like I said, normally I high pressure things. I'm still going to hit it with a high pressure eventually, but um, it was so dry this year. Uh, it's not like we have a bunch of mud caked and wet sloppy silage So anyhow uh, Got that out of the way. I don't know if I said it or not, but the tether We have a guy that we get straw from that he gets that as insurance just in case He's dealing with weather and has to scatter his straw out. I need to make sure that's ready to go for him. This jack has two speeds. Like I said, we have a mechanic coming to work on this, so we want to make sure it's cleaned up nice. I mean, he'll be working us back here, so we want to make sure that this is especially cleaned up well. Um, yeah, it's going to be fun trying to deal with all these hoses and whatnot, but I'll try my best. That's probably the cleanest I've seen this tractor, to be honest. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the pressure washer here because I'm gonna probably pressure wash the SR250. I'm gonna bring this up to the shop a while and soon time for lunch. All right, I'm gonna back the harvester in. I guess keep an eye on me and make sure I don't back into the pickup head. I'll probably double check myself as well. straw.
Yeah, so the inside here is pretty good. I got that. It's amazing how much dirt gets in under a cab. But, uh, yeah, I did forget the GoPro, obviously. But now I'm going to pressure wash that SR250 because that needs it. So. so it's not a crazy amount of, like, straw. I mean, there's some, but a lot of it's dust. But still, clean it out. It's still a fire hazard. And it'll look a lot better when it's all clean. All right, so I this is all done. I just gotta flush this out with the fire hose, both the cab and the engine bay area. And then uh, Mike will be bringing a load of straw here that I think I'll have to unload because my dad's busy with animals, the heifers, and then he's gonna have to feed cows. So I'll probably be the one to uh, unload Micah. And we'll also have to, you know, lend a tractor to him so he can pull it across the scales. Helping out the case guys again. Tell you what, gets old. There he is. The red man himself. This is the only tractor we really had available. We should be good. I mean, weight wise, it's we're a little on the lighter side, but we should be good. Well, I'm stealing the other GoPro. My dad's feeding cows and uh I unloaded the straw here. This GoPro died, but <clears throat> yeah, sent him on his way. Time to stack straw. One thing I find funny are 7405s. So we stopped on a 7405 for his load so he could pull across the scales and then um, Earlier, they had another case tractor here. It was a 5240, a little nugget, but um, they used that to pull across the scales, and then they used the same tractor for an empty weight. Well, I used the 7405, and they both weighed exactly the same for empty weight. I just thought that was kind of cool. Like, what are the odds? It was the exact weight. But oh, I bring, um, stumbled on my words. That's going to be the end of the video, so see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. God, God bless. Oh man, I'm so putting that on YouTube. <laughs>